Hey everybody and happy Tuesday night. I don't know how the weather is where you live, but uh, it's been raining here for about three days straight and it's getting old. I mean, I haven't seen the sun in so long. <laughs> so I don't know of a better way to finish up a rainy, gloomy Tuesday night than opening up a mystery pack of comic books. So sit down next to me and let's dig into this and see what we find. Um, if you watch my channel, you know I do a lot of these videos. Um, this is a uh, purchase to Ollie's for $5.99. They stock them pretty frequently. Um, there's lots of variety. So you're, you generally can build a great collection of comic books, many of which I end up giving away. Um, Every now and then you find a good one. Some people might think it's a scam or none of these are good, but I have found uh, in prior packs, I found some uh, Scarlet Witch and Vision comics that turned out to be worth quite a little bit uh, after the show came out. So you never know what you're gonna find and you never know what superhero will uh, become famous. So, you know, Although I don't look at this as some kind of investment. Um, so anyway, as it says, uh, super value pack, a $20 value, 10 different comics, some rated PG-13, which is to entice people who are either want more sophisticated comics or want more dirty things in their comics. So, um, and we can see that uh, this pack has a Exodus comic dark avengers uncanny x-men and uh you see iron patriot on the cover and colossus vision um not vision um cyclops um and what's the name angel so um i'm not a comic book expert by the way i just want to clear that up now i'm just a hobbyist I'm just I'm not an expert on comics or anything I'm just a guy who enjoys collecting and reading them so I know there's some people who this is like a religion too so I hope I, I don't want to offend anybody so I may not know where all the characters or know all the stories but I know some anyway on the back um, there's a blaze comic and it seems to be a packaged comic with a price tag on it for 225 so that might be the other enticement comic that you are getting something that had some has some value um, no I'm going to unpackage it's taped up pretty well So I'm going to just cut. Very carefully. So as not to damage the contents. Okay, and we will, I'm going to pull the comics out, but not reveal them all yet, so there will be some surprise. This was a particularly tightly packed package, so let's go ahead and start with this Exodus. Brand new comic feels great and I will say that I love the feeling of a brand new comic um, it's fairly recent it's got a Kia Soul ad on the back $3.99 cover price this is the conclusion to Exodus nice crisp cover we've got an ad for Arkham Asylum so it's it's a little old but it's not super old Dark Avengers, Uncanny X-Men, Utopia. 
when riots erupt in San Francisco in response to Proposition X, an initiative that would require mandatory chemical birth control for all mutants, Hammer director Norman Osborn uh, talks, tasks his Dark Avengers with restoring order and deeming Cyclops, leader of the X-Men, unable to maintain control of his fellow mutants. Osborn summons X-Men Emma Frost and appoints her leader of her own team of X-Men, which he's handpicked to be the new face of mutant kind. And we got characters. Norman Osborn, um, also known as Green Goblin. Um, oh, he was also Iron Patriot. Miss Marvel, Hawkeye, Sentry, Spider-Man, Ares, Dokken, Mimic, Weapon Omega versus uh, Cyclops, Professor Xavier, Emma Frost, Namor, Colossus, Angel, X-23, Wolverine, and Danny Moonstar. And so on the bad side, we have Hawkeye, Miss Marvel, uh, the Bonafide Avengers, you know, Spider-Man. Um, you know, it's hard to picture these as the bad guys. So... And then the artwork it's very noir we got Cyclops um, it's I like the artwork a lot and it's actually it's really good this is good quality you could start off with an action scene here I just love the feel of a comic book in my hands. I really do. And especially one that has great artwork like this. Which is really thrilling. A lot of action. That appears to be Venom right there. I wonder if it's Spider-Man is infested with Venom in this issue. There's a cube ad. There's Hawkeye, the classic version of Hawkeye, not the Jeremy Renner version. Iron Patriot. This artwork is spot on, just great. I'm pretty, look at Colossus battling Ven Venom here. You might know Colossus. If you're a layperson like myself, you might know him from Deadpool and Deadpool 2. This is just really well done. As far as we got an ad here for PlayStation Ultimate Alliance 2. This Ms. Marvel, I wonder if she's not the Kamala Khan Ms. Marvel. I don't think. It's kind of hard to keep track of all of them. Look at that group picture here. Pretty amazing.
Okay. So, Norman Osborne is wearing the Iron Patriot suit in this, I think. I'm gonna say... Um... Yeah, because I have an action figure of Norman Osborne in the Iron Patriot. Armor. Dark Avengers Uncanny X-Men Utopia Conclusion. Necrosha. Necrosha. One shot preview. It's kind of a goth comic here. Ugh, creepy. Creepy scary baby. <laughs> this is the Necrosha preview, and this looks like a very dark comic. But the artwork is pretty good. Okay, this was a, artwork wise, this is a 10 out of 10. Okay, so next, um, we have an older Marvel comic, which is always fun. A 60 center, so, um, 1983. Uh, this is the Jack of Hearts, number three in a four issue limited series. Now these are the things, if you find, you should hold on to. Because you never know if any of these characters could become famous in a movie or a show. And um, so this is the kind of comic you want to hold on to. In the back, we got old Atari video game ad. Because this, is, this goes way back to when I was a kid. Uh, Masters of the Universe monogram model kits. It's like the Sorceress's Jet. Talon fighter and attack track, yeah. So, and this is the old style comic book with the regular old newsprint kind of paper and the old style comic book art that I'm really fond of. The creativity, and, and you know, you look at a picture like this, and what I think of at least is Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy, like evokes this kind of old style comic book. Stanley presents Jack of Hearts. An obscure character, but an interesting comic. Maybe one I'd want to set aside. This just reminds me of a comic book I would have gotten on a road trip when I was a kid. Like if I was in the back seat, my dad would have grabbed one of these for me or one or two and I would have read it, n not even knowing the story. I just would have picked it up and started reading it and looking at the pictures. You know, and reading and looking at comics when I was a kid gave me a lot of inspiration to draw. And I do a lot of drawings in, in my channel. Look at this old spaceship toy. <laughs> Probably cardboard. They had a lot of scammy things like this back in the day in comics before they got major sponsors. They would have, like, the sponsors were very sketchy things. You had, you know, you had Atari and stuff, but you also had, like, selling, you know, getting the little plastic soldiers and... Comics Convention. Featuring dealers, guests, events, displays, films, and more. And back then they'd show a film like Captain America with Red Brown or something. Kids make big money, sell video game cartridges. Oh boy. That sounded high tech back then. Back in the day when 66 could score you a great comic book full of reading and pictures and a whole different world. As you can see, they've changed a lot. And you got a Masters of the Universe video game ad on the back. It looks pretty good. And...
holiday gift coupon. So there was the Jack of Hearts. Very cool. Definitely, uh, this is just kind of an unusual comic. I've never seen this at all. Well, next we have um, Action Verse Number 5, put out by Action Lab, featuring Stray. These are your uh, D-list superheroes. Um, they look like your favorites, but they're not. <laughs> so, and on the back, um, Toyetica. Stray, The Intolerance, Part 2. And Jupiter Jet. Some of these action labs are kind of nifty. Um... This story so far, New York City is in the throes of a huge riot. On one side, the citizens, angry at the police for killing an innocent boy. On the other side, the NYPD, angry at the citizens for killing the cop responsible for the boy's death. In the middle of it all, a group of non-PAX Monday sponsored heroes and members of the teenagers trying to keep the city together. Meanwhile, Stray, Orion, the former Quarrel, and Midnight Tiger race to the scene of the strife, hoping to stop Anjanu and the aliens known as the Mujana, or the Intolerance, before another Titanodai is killed. A lot of lingo to learn in this. A slick paper. It's got, it looks like a Mustang, but it's got a dog. See, his interesting artwork I wonder if this is how like comic books artists get their start like working for Action Lab and some of the lesser companies although some people might really love these comics and I don't want to use the word lesser to imply that these are inferior or deficient but these might be great I just haven't really gotten into them I mean they look competently done And look how he has dog ears on his <laughs> This must be Midnight Tiger. See, you never know. If you hold on to these comics, you never know. You might have a gold mine in your hand if HBO, like, makes a series for this or something, you know. You just never know. They're in the morgue and they pop alive. How crazy is that? Let me get some coffee. And then you get your artwork in the back. I don't know if that's called the ash can. I think that's what it's called. Okay, next is uh, another Victorian. And this is a Victorian I've never seen. I like this comic a lot. And I want to accumulate all of mine and maybe make a video. Because I really think these are imaginative and full of great artwork and ideas. Um, the cover painting is really, really good. Kind of an impressionist. I find this comic always fascinating when I look at it. 
the artwork is always really good. HP Lovecraft stuff. Mm, the time is upon us. Finny, penny farthing press. And then we get the credits in the back. San Diego Comic Con International. They'll be there. Very cool. Next we have Zin. <laughs> They're covering up the name. Um, Zindra 2.0, and uh, it's put out by the same company as the Victorian. Uh, very nice looking artwork. We have, I guess, that's Zindra, and another picture of her. She looks like she's connected to the Matrix or something. Is cracking this comic open for the first time. You can hear the the paper and the glue cracking. It's not bad artwork. It's not the best, but it's not bad. I like how they achieve the sort of light effects by use of colors and stuff. to be continued and we'll probably get some more artwork in the back here like this cat and a little catalog and another Zendrad very interesting okay we got another action lab and this is Stray. And if we, if you're paying attention, you'll see that this last action verse featured Stray. And now we got a dedicated Stray comic. 
And I'm guessing Stray is the guy with the dog ears. <laughs> Okay, same uh, kind of thing on the back, this um, Toyetica, and the Jupiter Jet on the inside cover. Stray, the, Wa the Rottweiler Years, part three. And this is some real basic uh, artwork. As you can see, Action Lab kind of mimics these the Star Wars action figure covers see the artwork and this one I liked a lot better this is a little bit more kind of silly artwork it's not this is not my cup of tea I'm not saying it's bad art but it's just not my style Another use of the split screen, like like this. And we get to the mail and letters and in this uh, action figure cover, which is kind of cool, kind of um, the Star Wars comics did covers like this. You know, you got the price tag on it. And some alternate covers, and it's like a just pen and ink. There we have it. It was Stray. Next is another old one. This is really old because it's got Honor I Boop on the kit. Honor I Boop the kit on the back. So, um. Knights of Pendragon. Um. Coaster and Iron Man. Oops, I bumped the camera. <laughs> All right. If you, if the name Pendragon sounds familiar. King Arthur's father's name was Uther Pendragon. The Knights of the Round Table Reborn. You got a King Griffey Jr. Upper Deck Baseball Card ad. We get to Iron Man. And the front cover in the middle of a fight. And it's weird paper. It's not quite newsprint. It's like a in between newsprint and something else. Kind of a hybrid. Super Nintendo video game ads. Is that supposed to be like the uh, Monty Python? It's only a flesh wound kind of thing. You know, I'm talking about the Monty Python and the Holy Grail.
the old timey Iron Man. He almost looks like he's wearing tights. <laughs> Tony Stark. Okay, and we got um, NBA on Game Boy. Look like action figures or something. Okay, next is Age of Ultron, book two. Um, you might recognize it as the title of one of the Avengers movies. I think that's Black Widow. Um, in the back there's an ad for Bioshock Infinite. A Civic Honda Civic ad and then you got previously on Age of Ultron and then you got the devastation in San Francisco in, instead of Sokovia or, or wherever Age of Ultron was happening but it looks like some of the same, you know, devastation. Oh, that makes me want a Twix right now. Because I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a Twix. It's pretty graphic. Serial killer wall. We also got pictures of all the heroes like Wolverine, Spider Woman, Power Man, Miss Marvel, The Thing, and he's got their alter egos, which is interesting. Uh, you know, it has their real names like Stark and so forth. Very interesting. Looks like a tired Peter Parker. Kind of like the Peter Parker from Into the Spider of Horse. And we get to the characters. Black Widow is all disfigured. Moon Knight, Spider-Man, look how grizzled they all look. Doctor Strange, She-Hawk with a crew cut, Luke Cage, Hawkeye, Sue Storm, Monica Rambo, Wolverine, wow. This is a really dark comic. Next is Robotech. Uh, the Macra Saga, another fairly old comic, as seen on TV. Uh, on the back, you can see an offer for Matchbox to get some actual action figures and vehicles made by Matchbox, which you don't see anymore. It's Robotech to the rescue. It's very interesting. Those are clearly action figures. I wonder how small they were. This is. 1986 newsprint that good old comic book artwork and just 
kind of interesting, um, different, you could say. Kind of like Japanimation, but kind of not. Kind of like El Greco, if he was doing Japanimation. <laughs> It also looks a little like the Archies, if you remember that old comic. I mean the old Archies, not whatever the new stuff is. And we got some button models here. Yeah, you got the mail and a fairly thick back cover, and there's a Robotech movie ad. And finally, we have this classic comic here. Ooh, my tape just broke. This is this was a bag a long time ago. This is Blaze Legacy of Blood four of four of four, Marvel Midnight. Some acclaim old timey video game ad on the back for Game Boy. And this is 1993. So we got some Super Nintendo games. Legacy of Blood. This is an old comic. It's not old to me, but maybe old to you. Mega Man. Eternal Champions. It's in really good shape and it's very smooth looking. This matte finish on this paper looks great. Look at the old um, Sega light gun for the video games very artistic all right well that does it for this video and i hope you enjoyed it just show you quickly the comics we looked at and some good ones in here. And this Jack of Hearts I really think is cool. I'm gonna put him on top. I really thought this was the neatest one of all of them. Just a really neat find because I never even heard of this character and it's an old comic from the 80s just has all the great things about old 80s comics in, in it anyway i hope you like the video so please subscribe to my channel leave a comment give me a thumbs up bye